Like many of you, I love reading the headlines in our industry. I look for the information being put out there. I look for potential misinformation. I love seeing when two headlines battle each other and are contradictory. And, and the first thing I think of when I read those things is, what is the consumer thinking right now? They're confused. They're hearing one thing over here, another thing over there. So we all know it's our job to help them disseminate the information and come up with, with what really what we think are the facts. And what's interesting is recently I saw on CNN, they had an article that said worst is over for homeowners moving into a buyer's market. One of the metrics was June of this year, one in four listed homes had price cuts, which is the most since June of 2018. Now I pause for a second and I realize that those are nationwide statistics and don't necessarily correlate with Maricopa County, right? We have our own thing going on, which is good. We have high demand. And I do not think that we're just going into this buyer's market, but we have to remember what does our client think? They're reading the CNN headlines. So they are thinking these things and it's our job to walk them through it, right? We have to lead those that can't lead themselves. And one of my favorite quotes is, you can't lead somebody somewhere that you've never been. And for those of us that have been in the industry, have seen market cycles, ups and downs, we can guide them through this and it's our duty to do so. Who's the expert? We are the experts and we have to tap into that and be confident when we talk to people, even though we may not know what's around the corner. The other thing too that I feel strongly about is people cannot wait forever. People have been waiting to get the extra bedroom. They're having another kid. People have been waiting to downsize. They're retiring. They don't want to have the big house anymore. And remember, we're on the battlefield with you and we're ready to go. So if you need some advice on how to have some of these conversations, remember the bison herd is very seasoned. We've been doing this a long time, so we're happy to help.